Hi guys, Ollie Reese here, and I'm going to show you what I get up to in a day of my life. Okay, this morning we've got a Zwift ride with the team. Um, it's just before half eight, the ride starts at half eight, and I'm ready for that at the moment. So once a week we ride together on Zwift in the morning as a team, and we chat online. Um, it's a pretty good way to build team spirit as we're all at home with the... Uh, current coronavirus situation. Alright, here's my turbo setup. Got the Liverpool blanket, it's my team. Towel. And I got the computer plugged into the TV. It's not the uh, most advanced turbo setup but it gets me round. Okay we've been riding for 40 minutes now and we got five minutes left. The video chat it's just ended with the team. All right, so we finished the turbo session. Uh, we've got a quick turnaround. I'm gonna have a shower and grab a bit of breakfast. And then we're on again for another video chat with the team and we're gonna be joined by Mark Renshaw. So that's gonna be interesting. So for breakfast, I'm just having a classic scrambled egg. Got some water, had a coffee before. So yeah, just keeping it simple. All right, the time has just gone 11 and I've just finished the meeting online with the team and Mark Renshaw. Uh, mega interesting, so thanks Mark for giving up your time for that. I've got an easier day today in terms of training, so the Zwift ride this morning was the only ride in that I'm going to be doing today. But I'll try and keep the rest of the day interesting for you guys. I've had some lunch and now I'm out in the garden and I'm about to do some stretching and core work. Uh, I've been doing quite a bit of this recently as I've obviously got quite a lot of time. So I'll show you what kind of things I get up to. So I've done that now, uh, I do that most days, sort of 20 to 40 minutes depending on how much I'm riding, but I think it's pretty good to just give you that added strength when you're on the bike. Got a bit of rice cake activity this afternoon which is a classic rest day activity. So to add to the rice I put in a bit of coconut oil, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then some Biscoff and honey. But there's not really a right answer. Just put in whatever you like and I'm sure it'll taste nice. My rice cakes are ready now. It looks like I've already eaten half of it, but I just didn't make enough to fill the whole tub. It's not the best batch I've ever made. I think I cracked a bit under the pressure of cooking for an audience. I'm certainly no Gordon Ramsay, but I'm sure they'll taste all right. Next job is to clean the bike, which is another standard rest day activity. bike is clean again thanks to Fenwix. Some of the lads are racing on Zwift tonight. I'm not racing because I'm not on the team this week so I'll just be watching and giving a bit of morale which will certainly be a lot more comfortable. I've done a few races on Zwift now and they're very hard. Yeah not easy at all. I've I had quite a few heart rate PBs doing them, so yeah, they're not easy. Where's Tom Pitcock? One of the most uh, still 
a very, very young rider indeed, riding for Trinity Racing. He rode last week, apparently according to Alistair, he had a chat after the race and had decided to call it a day after an initial attack, but good to see him back. Again, one of the most talented riders on the planet at the moment, can excel at all disciplines. With all this time at home, I thought I'd try and find a new hobby. So for the last few weeks, I've been learning Italian. Um, I can speak French after doing it at A-level and spending quite a bit of time in the country. And I was looking forward to racing in Italy this year. So maybe eventually when we do get racing there, I'll be able to say a few more things other than mi chiamo Oli. And if you guys have started anything new during this lockdown period, then I'd be interested to find out. So just let me know in the comments below. Tonight's film sorted. Spent a lot of time with Netflix and Amazon recently. And obviously I was hoping to be racing abroad at the moment. But one of the positives that you can take from the situation is that I've been able to spend a lot more time with my family than I was expecting, which is something that maybe in the future I won't be able to do as much, so uh, I've been trying to make the most of it at the moment. Well, that's my day done. Uh, not too much cycling today, but a chance to look at some of the other things that I get up to at the moment. And if I've not bored you too much and you're still here, then thanks for watching. And if I have bored you and you've turned off, well, you won't be able to see this bit anyway. So, yeah, uh, stay safe and thanks for coming.